Over here is my porch, and I have the area and perimeter in there. We are at Wheeler Elementary, and this is our tiny house project. The tiny house project was a project-based learning experience to help them to learn area and perimeter. This was just a really fun project. Each morning I was excited to wake up and just know that I was going to school doing this project because it was just super fun. The end point is that they'd measure and accurately be able to identify area and perimeter, but more than that, it's that they're taking all of these and being able to apply them to a real life situation. Most of us got to meet our clients. We had people from all over the district make videos for us and they sent them to us and um, the kids watched all those videos and then they chose their client. It's kind of a real world experience where they were able to apply area and perimeter into um, you know, something that they may do as adults when they may design their own house or when they go to buy a home. We wanted to try something different that would be fun and would be engaging and give them a real, uh, real life experience. You know, even though they had to uh, make drafts and make changes, it was okay because it wasn't just, look, you missed half this worksheet, redo the whole thing. It was, okay, you know, we didn't meet our clients' needs. And because they were so invested, um, I think that made it more fun for them and they were resilient. This will help me, like, if I'm building my own house, if I'm putting a fence around, if I get a dog, um, if I'm building a new room in a house, I need to know the square footage and how much square feet I want to take up. Something that was very eye-opening to me is when you asked a kid to redo an assignment, they might be very hesitant, but here we asked them to do their first draft and they were even like, oh, this is what I need to fix, or this is what I'm going to do in my second draft. And so it was without prompting, they were making changes and they were, and the project was meaningful to them. I think that it has definitely made us more intentional about the ways that we teach things and making sure that in everything that we do, not just this project, but that, you know, how are we teaching kids to be effective communicators? How are we teaching them to be resilient? How are we teaching them to be emerging innovators? This project was able to hit several of the backpack skills and it was nice to see this early on in the year, the kids feel so excited about our project. They talk about how this is something that they can add to their backpack. Um, they feel like they're in charge of their learning. They were in charge of this project. Each and every one of them made their own tiny house. It wasn't a group project. Um, they worked together to help each other and give each other feedback, but they each were in charge of their own project and their learning. It is something that other schools can do. and. I my co-teacher and I definitely were hesitant through this and even in the middle of it when we had graph paper everywhere when they were doing their 3D model we were just like is is this hard work going to pay off are they going to master it more than they you know mastered it in the past we got to see the kids different strengths some of them were very quick to solve area and perimeter others of them were great at building the walls and finding the area of those walls Others of them were great at meeting the client's needs. Others of them were great at giving feedback. And so I think that's why this project meant so much to us and it was worth the extra effort um, and just the extra planning because we got to see all the different facets of that. If I built my own house um, and I didn't know this, I wouldn't know how big my house should be, how big my rooms would really be. I just wouldn't know that.